तत्त धीम तकिट धीम तीम तत्म Hello there. Welcome to my channel. This is Padma and on this channel I share with you the practice and philosophy of body-led spirituality inspired by the divine feminine traditions from my culture which is India. And in this video I am hoping to share with you some reflections on what we mean by a body-led spirituality and how we can recognize this in very very simple ways in our everyday lives. So what do we mean when we say a body led spirituality? I think for many of us all over the world we are coming to a feeling that we live in a very mind dominated way. We are at a time in our the history of the human civilization where we live very mechanistic lives where we are very process driven in our daily lives we go from one task to the other and in recent times it has become such an archetypal recognition of this where we are bound to our chairs completely living our lives through our devices for many of us this may feel like a profound disconnection between our minds and our bodies a sense of disconnection from our sensations our passions our vitality and through that and inevitably a disconnection to nature and to earth and this disconnection is also a disconnection that brings us to a certain apathy that brings us to a certain listlessness a kind of heaviness and a passivity a sense that uh we don't have any energy any power or any uh vitality left and that somehow we've outsourced um everything about us what Uh, rejuvenates us what what is our divinity what is our passion it's like we've outsourced all of that to the minds and through the minds to information to texts and to external experts in many ancient times there was a recognition of of this potential trajectory of our mental consciousness the very essence of our mental consciousness is to separate and to categorize and it's a very useful skill and our minds have a, a very useful place in our lives it is just that the mind is not capable of encompassing the whole of reality so in these ancient traditions they had practices which did not lead from the mind but they led from the body and this is more than just being embodied because sometimes when we are embodied we are still manifesting a technique a plan a vision or some sort of textual information from the mind into our body and yes i'm not saying that doesn't have its uses but in order to open up a different intelligence that is something other than the mental intelligence the mental consciousness and mental perception it needs a much more sophisticated way that is body led and some of these ancient traditions indeed they can even be called technologies they have very intelligent and sophisticated ways of opening up that other consciousness that other perception and that other intelligence in our beings through body led practices many of them were um concerned with movement and with dance and so this body led uh, intelligence offers a reflective space for us to actually understand the mind to understand how the mind work what are the strengths of the mind what are its limitations and also what is that experience of expansiveness and what we call the divine that is not of the mind and this was the power and the gift of these body led traditions now how do we experience this what does this mean in our daily lives because speaking about body led traditions is always a challenge because they are not of the mind and therefore the words and language we cannot get there from the mind the description is never the thing and we really need to do it in order to a, to be able to experience what this intelligence is and what this consciousness is 
One of the very simple ways in which you can taste this or get a glimpse of this in your daily life is in your shower. Yes, I mean the daily showers that I'm sure we all have every day as part of our routines. And this idea actually came to me from the women that I work with in my individual program. And I noticed that many of them shared with me that when they are in their showers, they have this beautiful sensation of this other consciousness, this other intelligence awakening in them. And that is because when we are in our showers, there are these private intimate moments where we can leave the performance of the mind, the mental performance that we constantly have to be in, in different roles as mothers, as workers, as bosses, as directors, as business women, whatever we do, all these multiple roles that we have to perform. And we have this moment in the shower where we are really coming into our intimacy, the privacy, there's the water flowing over the bodies, and then there is this beautiful opening to just come to a rest the mind can come to the rest. There's nothing to be performed. There's nothing to be done. There's no process. And we can just allow some other awareness to open up. We often speak about singing in the shower. Well, dancing in the shower is also a, a, a thing. And many of the women I work with actually say they practice in the shower. That is the time they get, which you know they can be private and intimate and do this practice. So my invitation to you is the next time you're in your shower, in your daily shower, just take a few minutes to just feel the water over your body and to just open, drop in to the body, drop into that sensation of the water on your body. Just see, do you feel like singing? Do you feel a movement coming through? And allow the movement to come from your feet. You know, just tapping your feet without slipping, but just tapping your feet on the floor of the shower and just allowing a movement to that rhythm. This is a really, really simple way of getting a glimpse, a taste of that sensation where the body freed of the mind, freed of this mental, the demand for mental performance can start flowering for us. So I do hope that you will get a chance to just feel this beauty and the spaciousness of this body-led intelligence in your daily lives. And I love to hear from you if you get a chance to do this. And I look forward very much to your company on this channel again.